Hey guys, Keith here. I wanted to uh, spend a bit of time to run folks through the Remote Falcon service and specifically the linkages that uh, I've built via a plug-in to uh, XSchedule. Remote Falcon is a project that uh, James Vance has created, which essentially provides a website which your guests can log on to or not log on to but access and control your show it has a couple of different modes and uh, one of which is a, a jukebox type functionality so here is the control panel so this is the actual website it's just the default page you can customize that but under the viewer settings you can see here it's got a couple of different modes that it can run in it's currently in the jukebox mode it also has a voting mode the on-demand mode i don't think it's that useful it's essentially jukebox mode where you can only have one request so i'm not entirely sure how it's going to be that useful but the jukebox mode allows people to come along and choose songs from your uh, playlist and uh, it will then play those songs in the order in which they've been requested. And so people can come along and, and just add songs to the playlist and play them in the order that they like. Uh, the voting mode is slightly different in that while a song is playing, it accumulates, uh, the next song accumulates votes. And when that song ends, the song that at that point in time that has the highest number of votes gets selected at the next song and then there's some options but it lets you reset uh, the votes to varying degrees and it will then obviously accumulate votes during the next song and so on through now the way in which you set this up in x schedule if you choose to use this and, and let's be clear this is this works in fpp as well obviously the setup is slightly different but this is how it works if you're using x schedule as your show player so up here there is a plugin for Remote Falcon which you can start up and when you start it up you will get this window which will appear and effectively what it's doing here is it's uh, it's just playing back uh, the, the interactions that uh, XSchedule is having with the website over here and effectively what it's done is it's worked out that it's in jukebox mode it's currently requesting uh, this website to see uh, which song should play and at the moment it's returning back that there is no song that should play now if I'm a, uh, a person who's accessing the website I can see over here on uh, and anyone can access this there's no login it can it tells me that this talking trees one is the current thing that's playing and it is and it also shows a list of all of the songs uh, that could be selected now you do that over here in the options you you choose which playlist you want to tell uh, remote falcon uh, to use and in this case it's chosen to use Christmas and these are all the songs that happen to be in the Christmas playlist uh, so we'll, we'll cancel that uh, and it's just restarted but it's doing the same thing so I can come down here and choose a song like I might choose here Amazing Grace which it just selected and you can see here that it did actually select Amazing Grace Amazing Grace is now playing uh, the current playlist or the test playlist which was the playlist that was playing has now been suspended hence it's in yellow and it's now playing Amazing Grace and it's currently up here says it's playing a queued playlist which is a sign here that it's pulled a playlist down from Remote Falcon and it will play it now when this thing finishes uh, it will go back to playing the test playlist or whatever other playlist you might have had scheduled so it only plays it while it's there and of course I can also come down here and uh, choose another song and you'll see up here oh yeah did it take that oh this is my playlist is full I think my queue size must be set quite small So yeah, my queue size is set quite small. So it, it's queued up the next one. Oh no, 
Oh, it's adding them now. Okay, so it's it's adding them now and the queue's building up. Light of Christmas is going to be the next song. You'll see that X Schedule has no idea that that's the case. Uh, it's still sitting over here busily playing away on Amazing Grace, which has about seven seconds left. And just before it finishes, you'll notice that it reaches out. It grabs the next one, which is Light of Christmas. It cues it up and then it switches over to Light of Christmas and it starts to play that. And over here, the cue size has now dropped to one. The Santa Claus is coming down is now the next song and Light of Christmas is playing. And if I come down here and click on Next Step, of course, it will jump back to the Talking Trees before realizing that it should be playing Santa Claus is Coming to Town, which it now does, and everything updates and synchronizes. So it effectively acts like a jukebox, and any user can come along to your website and queue up any song at any time. And everything will work as expected. So that's, that's the first mode, the jukebox mode. Now, the voting mode requires us to reset things a little bit. So let's stop everything here. Let's uh, reshuttle, reset all the schedules. Clear everything out. Let's uh, turn our plugin off. Let's turn our plugin back on. Because we're currently in this jukebox mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop it. Everything's cleared out. We're going to come over here and we're going to put it into voting mode. Um, now, there's a couple of ways that you can do it. At the moment, you can have it reset votes after playlist or not. Uh, when it's reset votes, votes after playlist, what it does is it resets all of the song votes back to zero. Uh, that's fine. Um, but I, I tend to prefer that you hold on the votes to the song that wasn't the chosen one. And that way, songs which are maybe a little less popular can over the course of the evening accumulate votes and will eventually reach a point where they might play. But you can choose either way. That's up to you. We'll save those changes. And now it's in voting mode. So now when we start this back up again, or if we just started, it's now in voting mode. And again, it's now asking for the winning playlist. And at the moment, the winning playlist is none. And the Talking Trees, which is our scheduled playlist, is, is playing. So let's refresh this. And you'll see that the website now looks a little bit different. Now we've got our song still, but we've got a set of votes against it. So let's choose our first vote. And we're going to vote for Amazing Grace. And when we vote for Amazing Grace, it gets one vote and immediately it wins the voting. And you'd expect that to happen because nothing else had any votes. We were keeping on looking for the winning song. The winning song was um, uh, Amazing Grace. And so it won the vote immediately and it played immediately. So if there is nothing playing, the first vote will always just win, um, assuming that two votes don't uh, arrive before we go out and reach out for it. And that will immediately start to play something. But now voting is open. We have uh, just on a minute 13 left to do some more voting. And so we can come over here and start voting for some other songs. The, the website at the moment doesn't prevent you voting multiple times. Uh, James may well change that. Uh, I know it's on his list of things to look at. But during the song, we can have many people uh, voting for different songs. Um, let's, uh, let's just keep voting here. <laughs> I'd also like it to see it maybe change a little bit the way it, uh, it does the last song, whether it chooses, when it chooses. All right, so The Greatest Show is now my highest voted song. And you can see at the moment... There's 20 seconds left. Uh, it hasn't reached out to the website yet. But if this works as expected, what we'll expect to see is The Greatest Show will win and start to play over here. We'll expect to see Your Welcome become the, the next highest here with four votes. And we expect The Greatest Show to disappear off the list. And so The Greatest Show has disappeared off the list. The Amazing Grace is now back. Uh, it's now got zero votes. Your Welcome still has four votes. So it's now likely to be the next song chosen, depending on how the voting goes 
during the next four four minutes while the greatest showman plays. So yeah, that's uh, the voting capability uh, offered generously by James through his uh, remote Falcon uh, website. Now you can go and create your own account. This is the X schedule test one. You can actually access this URL and start choosing things. Uh, the way in which I've written the plugin at the moment is it actually clears out all the votes when it starts up. That prevents votes from accumulating while your show's not running or overnight and ensures that it's current for the people that are in front of your show. The only downside I can think about is if X schedule was to shut down, for instance, in the middle of the show and restart, it would obviously remove all the votes at that point, which may or may not be what you want to do. But yeah, I think that brings a, a, a huge gap or closes a huge gap in in playing back shows the ability for people to vote or to select the songs uh, the public to select the songs on your show is something that I, I do believe many people have been after there have been some other services out there that have done it before but this is the first one that I've integrated properly in now if you are the runner of another service out there and you would like to see your service built in um, I'm okay with that. Uh, I, I'm, I'm happy to either extend this plugin or re rebadge this plugin and or build other plugins to support other services uh, to give people the option for how they control their show. Um, just get in touch with me. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs>